now we're going to get into open-mindedness. So by not limiting ourselves to only one way of thinking or one system of belief, one moral code saying how that's it, that's all there is to it, this is the only way, we can significantly broaden our knowledge, our wisdom, and our experience. Now, I don't mean being open-minded to the point where you're just going to take in every single thing and believe anything and everything. That's being gullible. That's not what we're talking about. It's perfectly okay to have your beliefs and, you know, what you're already established in and, and your own code to things because we develop that. And that also changes throughout our life. But being open-minded in the sense that you're not going to truly invest 110% into only one idea, one way of living. So when you come across other humans that you meet, you have an open mind and you can listen to their side, their perspective and their experiences and maybe you can learn something from it. Maybe allow them to plant a couple seeds in your head. It's the only way to really grow, right? Is by learning as much as you can and the best way that we learn new things and new experiences is from other people. It's super easy to just dismiss their stories or their perspective or what they're saying. Like, nah, fuck that dude. I believe in what I believe. Screw you. But try to open your mind a bit more. And along with keeping an open mind to things, you'll be able to take all of the things that you've learned and some of the things that we've even gone over and be able to actually build up something for you personally. An example on that I would give is I started my path out on the Druidry path specifically, right? And then of course I dabbled in, in the Norse way for a little while because I, I kept my mind open, right? I wasn't like, okay, this is the only way. Albeit technically there is no set rules or something for Druidry. Not the same way there is for most Norse paganism. But by keeping my mind open to different ideas, approaches, beliefs, cultures, shit like that, I've been able to take what I deem as the best qualities from both and mash it together to enhance my spiritual experience. You're able to have amazing conversations with people if you're able to keep your mind open long enough to listen. But the moment you shut it down and you've just decided, okay, this is how it is. Nothing's going to change my mind on it. Anything like that. You just stopped all your growth. And life is a fucking journey. We don't know if it's going to be a long one or if it's going to be a short one. How fucking boring would that be to just lock on the one idea and just follow that the entirety of your life? Never consider anything else. I mean, to be fair, it might work for some people, but I know for me, hell no. Now, when it comes to getting started with that, a lot of people, a lot of you are already going to have an open mind naturally, right? And then there's others that might be like me, where it was hard for a while coming out of my youth phase, right? Because you're taught this, you're taught that, you're indoctrinated to many things based on your environment, where you grew up, who you were around. You have to learn how to empty your fucking cup. And that is hard. Hell, I'm still emptying mine to this day. But it's not our fault, see? And we can get past this. Eventually, anywhere you're going on your path, you're going to end up where you should be or you want to be, right? If you're putting in the work for it and focusing on yourself when you need to and practicing other things, like we mentioned in the first five videos, come up with your own way, your own path, things that are by your design, shit you enjoy, and, and that vibes with you like I have of my own. But don't let that be like the end all for you, the end of the road. Keep your mind open. Even though I've come to my own beliefs with my animistic side and, and my ideas on the world and how it works, which I've shared with you guys on a series, I promise you there's going to be new information or new people I meet that are going to have, you know, some stories and some shit that I don't know and I've never heard. So I can't just shut them down right off bat because it doesn't fit my belief in life or what I think. But instead, I'm going to make damn sure that I, I, I keep my mind open up at least enough to let them plant some seeds that will help me grow more in the future when I need it. Because there have been a few times where I've had a conversation with somebody in the past about something, right? You know, I'm like, okay, <clears throat> that kind of makes sense. I get it a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's not for me right now. And then, like, years later or months later or something, I'm, I'm talking to somebody having a conversation about something, right? And then, like, my stance will switch up on it. And they're like, hey, wait a minute. You used to not think that. And then it clicks. And I'm like, oh, shit. Somebody, some time ago, put a seed in my head. And it grew. And it helped me to change my perspective or my stance on something. More often than not, for a positive way. Especially when it comes to paganism or any old ways shit, animism, spirituality in general, you kind of have to have an open mind. There are so many stories and so much lore and so much tradition and just history out there of many different cultures. I mean, hell, one story tells you how the world is formed from a giant skull. Well, the sky technically, but you get what I'm saying. Another one, one of my favorite ones, will tell you that certain stones are enchanted and there's a fairy in it. I'm rather fond of that one. You're going to hear all kinds of amazing and interesting stories from different places, and you have to be able to have an open mind to digest that. Be able to come to your own conclusions and to be able to process it, analyze it, and pick what it is that you want to carry on with you in your journey from here on out. Having a closed mind and locked in and focused on only one thing is not good for anybody. You're just going to be stuck, stagnant. You're not going to go nowhere. And I mean, that might work for some people, like, Lord, if I'm 100%, 120% what I believe in, this is it, fuck the rest. But I am curious to see how long that will last just because knowing how humans' patterns go, we tend to go through somewhat of a change every so often. I think your mind will be a little bit more open again then. But again, emphasis on this really opens you up to learning so much more because you can have many, many other types of conversations with people from all walks and all over the place and learn a lot of shit that you might not learn simply by being open and taking the time to listen. Let's be real here. We also know that there's always new information coming out, right? So we're going to use books for an example. If you've got a library of, say, seven, eight, nine, ten books that you really love and you've learned a lot of shit from it, it's, it's a big part of your path and what you do now, well, guess what? 
new information comes out, it changes. Books get updated, they get you know revised. Some information that may have been put out on a mass scale and said, hey, this is this way, this is this way, can get completely flipped over and changed when new information comes to light. So if you don't have an open mind for when that's gonna happen, because it will, it's almost inevitable. Everything changes. We should keep our mind open enough to make sure that we can change with it as it comes. Again, don't mistake what I'm telling you for being gullible. I just ain't good for nobody. And also don't take it as it means you don't have to stand your ground on anything or your beliefs don't matter. But use this to enhance your spiritual path, your journey. Throw your fucking garden of knowledge in here with an open mind. Let all the seeds get planted. See where you go from there. To the next part.